Hi, I'm Dr. Heath. I'm a psychoanalyst. Hey, can we understand ourselves from a movie? I'm talking about a ghost story, a book called A Christmas Carol. This was written almost 200 years ago, but it remains a powerful myth even today. If you know the story, what if I told you that Ebenezer Scrooge and Tiny Tim are the same person? See, Scrooge suffered from what we psychoanalysts call pathologic narcissism, a condition where people are so uncomfortable with dependency on other people that in their mind, they kill the other person off. But of all the ghosts, there were two things that horrified Scrooge the most. There were two ghouls underneath the robe of Christmas present. They were greed and ignorance. They horrified Scrooge because they were part of him. They were part of him that he had disavowed long before. We get to know Tiny Tim as the son of Bob Cratchit, the assistant to Scrooge, who's belittled all the time. Tiny Tim is dying of an illness that was easily treatable, even in Charles Dickens' time, if only the cure was made available to him. But Scrooge doesn't care. He even curses people like that, wishing them dead. But why was he so filled with hate? Narcissists pay a dear price for their denial. In denying their weakness, they carve out other parts of themselves, empathy, hope. But what do you do with that part of yourself? Ah, you can project it onto the other person. Voila, that's not me, that's them. But then you end up hating the other person. It seemed to work pretty well for Scrooge. He was successful in business. When his associate Marley died, he could even deny that. He could deny death itself. Kept Marley's name on the sign. He even went by Marley's name sometimes. But he couldn't deny it forever. Scrooge was getting old, and he began to see what he was missing out on. He had just enough concern and just enough sanity to be able to tolerate what the ghosts had to say. In his vision, he realized he could depend on others. He began to rely on the ghosts to hold him up as they flew, to travel through time. He even begged them at the end for redemption. And this they granted. When he woke up from his dreams, it was Christmas morning, a holiday about new birth. But how did this happen? How did a wretch like Scrooge get redeemed? In the visitation from the ghosts, he had to revisit the loneliness and neglect he experienced through the Christmas past and the resonance in the present and the future. So that's my story of hate, love, and redemption. Thanks for watching. I'm here on YouTube, 7 Central on Thursdays. Please subscribe to my channel and please consider contributing. I've got a link here on the left. I've got a couple of options there. Thanks. See you next time.